Yeah, my name is Paul. Um, uh, I guess long time geo guy at this point. Um, I did it, housing maps, as Brady said, uh, the first Google Maps mashup. Um, after that, I joined Google and spent about five years there in the geo team um, on Google Earth and Google Maps. Um, launched a lot of uh, fun projects, had a great time, recently left uh, to co found a startup called Tasty Labs. Uh, what I want to show you guys today is a um, it's a fun project um, called Stratocam. And Stratocam is all about um, showing off the beauty of satellite imagery. Um, so I, I, love, I love satellite imagery. I love uh, cruising Google Maps and looking for neat stuff and sharing it with people. Um, I find that satellite imagery is actually kind of underappreciated. Um, so a lot of people, I imagine, who use satellite mode on, on Google Maps might do a flyover of their house. Um, but very few people do flyovers of houses in Dubai, which uh, look a little bit better. Um, uh, Google Maps is also very uh, utilitarian. You know, you use it to find driving directions, for example, to get to the airport, but not many people um, would stop to think that the imagery of the airport itself is actually really striking. And I love the composition. Right, so this is, this is actually Stratocam. Um, so Stratocam is a website. Um, meant to be viewed in full screen mode. And it's essentially a slideshow of the best stuff um, on, on Google Maps. And um, uh, so let me just go ahead and start the slideshow here. And uh, OK, where's, this is London. So a plane uh, either very low or we're looking at it from very high, uh, right over London. Um, these images, um, OK, this is, this is Illinois. Um, again, I love the composition of this. This, is, this just looks beautiful. If we look at the same image in Google Maps, if I can get a network connection here. Um, well, it kind of looks pretty close to this, actually. Um, you know, it's just imagine two lines, OK? So that's the Google Maps view. Um, so I have a, a lot of these images. This is Fresno, um, kind of boring, but still really beautiful. Um, where do these images come from? So th these are all discovered by users on the site. So um, you can watch the slideshow, but you can also, uh, this is just a, a live map uh, site. OK, network connection is a little spotty. So, uh, but I can pan the map, and then when I discover something new, I can click. Um, a, a camera button will pop up at the bottom, and I can click and take a new, uh, take a new image, and then other people will see it. Um, I want to find the best things on the map, and for that, The network just got very spotty. Hang on one second. <sighs> OK, here we go. Thank God for pre-caching. Um, so there's a thumbs up and thumbs down buttons uh, at the bottom of the screen, and people vote up and, uh, and down. And, and the amazing thing is this, this actually works um, the images that people vote up and down um, look great. So I just launched this two weeks ago. And, um, and as I was working on it, I thought, um, this is uh, right outside Chicago. And those are boats. Um, so as I was working on this, I worried that I was going to find all the best stuff uh, myself before launching. Right. So the, the point of the website is to let a lot of people discover a lot of things. Um, and before launch, I'd, I'd found about 200 of, let's say, the greatest hits on Google Maps. So I had Eiffel Tower, Roman Coliseum, Great Pyramids, and things like that. And, and after a while, I started to think, I'm going to find everything before this, this goes live. Uh, in the two weeks since it's been out, people have submitted uh, over 20,000 images, and they all are this good. Um, and, um, and, and I think that's, that's a real credit to the, the compositional eye, this is right outside Epcot Center. Um, so this is, this is a real testament to, to people's ability to, uh, uh, shoot. OK, outside Russia. Uh, so people have great composition skills. And then the viewers on the side, I think, have, have great taste. Um, let's take a look at this one for a second. OK, this one, do you guys, OK, do you see the face? Can, cannot unsee. Um, 
This is, this is just simply hills in Canada. Um, so this is either you know, uh, geological erosion and uplift or aliens. It's one of the two. Um, th this, is, this is one of the favorites. So, so if you can see at the bottom the number of upvotes on this one, this is 2,500 upvotes. So people unsurprisingly love this one. And for some reason, uh, he has iPod headphones, <laughs> which is really weird. So the aliens knew something. Um, Berlin. Um, so again, I, th you know, I imagined uh, how easy, you know, how long is it going to be before we find all the, the great stuff like this? Uh, the surface, the land surface area of the planet is, is 150 uh, square kilometers. So there's, in fact, a lot of stuff to discover. Uh, the planet is, is very, very big. Um, one of the things that, that, that I have discovered myself after seeing what people submit is that this winds up being a really interesting tool to, uh, it's a really interesting learning point, a starting point to learn about the planet, right? So we start off with images that just look neat, just a striking, beautiful, good composition, strong colors. Um, and then, you know, for me, I wanna, I wanna dig in, I wanna learn more about what I'm seeing. Um, this one that we just saw, this is, this is Norway. Um, it turns out that there are structures like this um, all over, especially all over the, the Netherlands. We saw one from Russia before. This one's uh, Norway. Um, there are bastioned fortresses, right? So defensive structures with towns inside. Um, and the countryside is just dotted with these, and they're all really, really beautiful. Um, these were not built to be seen from above, right? They were designed on paper, um, and it would be several hundred years before somebody could appreciate them like we get to. Um, the, it's, the things that people tend to upvote, there, there are certain patterns. Uh, maybe you'll, you've seen the patterns already from what I'm showing so far. Um, urban crowding tends to be very popular. Uh, where's this one? Um, OK, network connection is kind of slow, so it's not going to show me where this is. Um, I believe that one was India. Um, try to get my network back. OK, here we go. Here's a good one. Uh, this one is uh, an island off Alaska. Um, this is uh, the Bahamas. Some, some of the patterns here, right? So that we saw uh, urban crowding before, so that's you know, obviously man-made, um, natural patterns, um, colors. Uh, the Bahamas, obviously very blue. Australia, if we can fast forward, Australia has some beautiful oranges. Uh, the UK, you, know, you can see the pirate ship there. Um, Hanover Gardens in Germany. This is an island um, off Croatia, heart-shaped. I'm not sure if this is uh, man-sculpted or totally natural. Uh, Greenland, which is not green. Uh, this is actually an interesting one. These are the Nazca lines. Can, if you guys can see uh, faintly in the middle, uh, these are the, the lines in Nazca, Peru. So these were... Um, uh, you know, these, these were this built in ancient times, and, and this was actually meant to be seen from the sky, of course. It would be a long time before we'd get there. Uh, circles, there are a lot of circles all over the globe, um, and people have been really submitting a tons of them. Uh, Charlotte, Florida. Uh, Namibia. I, I, this, this image, I really love this one. I don't know how well the colors really show up on, this, on the projector. Uh, but this is a case, if, if I were to zoom out here, you'd see that this is just part of a huge desert, and the desert has hundreds of these little you know, tufts of sand. This one's just particularly gorgeous. Uh, here we go, Australia, just fiery orange. Um, this one, I believe, is in Spain. This is one of the top voted images. This is the McLaren, the headquarters for McLaren Automobiles, so the R&D center. Um, he is called the... Uh, the, the CEO of this company is called the, the Steve Jobs of the automotive world and you know, shows in the building design. Um, this is not Dubai. It's very close. This is what uh, having a lot of oil money will buy you. You get to just build islands for yourself. Uh, Netherlands, parking outside airport. Uh, OK, Denmark. So here we get into the Bastion fortresses. Uh, shipping uh, in Netherlands. Uh, more of these. The top, I would say the top three rated places around the world are Russia, which has these weird uh, alien landscapes, uh, Netherlands, 
and Saudi Arabia desert landscapes. Um, so I'm running out of time here, but this is, uh, again, Stratocam, uh, stratocam.com. And I uh, invite all you guys to uh, stop by and just enjoy the show and uh, hopefully submit some images of your own. Thank you. <laughs>